with this elections issue, uh, all hands are on deck. The editors are going to be working really hard. Um, and you know, just having kind of seen the meetings and the stories that have been pitched so far, um, you know, I can tell it's going to be a pretty special, special issue. So I'm excited. decisions that come with picking stories, especially for these like special issues or impact issues, uh, comes from the entire like news editing team and from upper management. Our like foremost priority as a local paper is to make sure that our coverage, you know, reflects the city of Berkeley and the UC Berkeley communities. Primary elections are like incredibly large scale um, and you see all of these major headlines every day about, you know, close races and potential upsets. Um, and so, uh, as a local paper, we want to make sure that we're on the front lines of that for Berkeley. Two weeks before publication, we had a budget meeting, and that's where the creative director, Victoria, and I, and the news editor, Sakura, we all sat down together, um, and we just kind of thought about the types of articles we would want, just like really on the broad scale. We knew that this was going to be an eight-page paper, um, and it's coming out the day after the primary election, so it had to be something that was still relevant afterwards. For the elections issue, we kind of wanted it to be more like focused and news-based on um, who won these elections and just informing readers about like who they voted for and who they can vote for going forward. Where you live? Get over the courtyard. Okay, can we start um, special issue people? Awesome. Can everyone pull up budget on your personal devices? Um, what's the kind of general theme of this issue? This of all special issues shouldn't be like a bears do this. Yeah. Because <laughs> be like this is our most like city rather than campus. Yeah. But it's who won obviously all the positions, and it's education, higher ed as a whole, and then we have columns about like the right to vote. When we first started pitching stories for this, we were like, okay, who's running for things? And what seats are up for grabs that are gonna be looked at in the primaries? As far as visuals are like, what is the content about? We want it to be clear to readers that it is about the election. So we're going for a little bit more literal, like stars and stripes with the red and blue. Um, trying not to keep, like trying not to go too like cheesy or like old fashioned with it and like switching it up still a little bit, um, but more focused on like the theme just to make it like really clear. What should the visual be? Um, so it'll probably be one big illustration. Would it be too complex to have like some sort of food tray type of thing and then like at the beginning you've got like preschool blocks and then like blah 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 and then like rad caps? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be too complex, or yeah, you hate that. I, I'm not a big fan of that. But like, okay, <laughs> great. What do you think the illustration should be? It would be cool if we could do like students in a classroom. I work with Keki a lot, the managing editor, to um, come up with these visuals and to better understand like the stories and we can like bounce ideas off of each other or sometimes if she has like a different idea, we can explore her option and like talk about different ideas that we can try. It's it's a team effort. We have to do everything a couple weeks, at least have our ideas a couple weeks in advance because you can't just go up to someone the morning of the election and say like, hey, you know, are you gonna write a column? You have to put all that work in and have the photo set up and the illustration and the infographics and everything. Tuesday night um, when the election is happening, that's when we're gonna be writing, obviously all the stories about like people uh, being elected and stuff because we won't know <laughs> who it is. Yeah. It's gonna be a long night. <laughs> uh, primary results are gonna be announced late. So what that means is like the reporter will probably have a bunch of like paragraphs that are already pre-written and like pre-arranged a certain order. And what we're gonna do as the editors is we're gonna add them in with like the names of everyone who won. <laughs> Okay, I'm hungry, 
but there are election results coming in. 30% of the vote has been reported, so we should be able to get a pretty good idea of what's going on from there. Um, what's the sitch right now? What's going on? Hey. Now is when you respond <laughs> to me. Polls were just closed 20 minutes ago. Yes, how are the stories going? Oh, the stories are going great. <laughs> We're fact checking right now, so going through and making sure that names are spelled correctly, that everything that we put in the article is factually correct. Um, we're not committing libel, um, and making sure that we are getting the angle of the story correct. Right now, I'm just placing all the articles and the headlines. Um, so I'm copying it over from WordPress or Google Docs. I'm putting it in and then writing headlines. I've been placing some photos to um, so this is almost the last step before we send it to print. After I finish doing all this, um, the night editors are going to look over it. It's very late now. Things went pretty well. Um, we, we were done with the stories almost earlier than I expected. We all did a lot of hard work today and I think news did pretty good. Shout out tonight for helping us on literally everything ever. Um, shout out to literally everyone. Shout out to Rena for writing like an entire story. Um, you're gonna hear from Ketki and Victoria probably, but shout out to them for existing. And shout out to Photo for also still being here. I'm just gonna keep shouting people out because we all did really good and we all should recognize how good we did.